Welcome back Pisces and thank you for joining me. My name is Emily Gear. I'm a multi-dimensional channel and a transformative energy healer and I'm here with your bi-weekly messages again this week. So I've opened the collective records and we will see what wants to come through for you guys for the next two weeks ahead. All right. I'm just going to ask Source to provide messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, if that applies. And um, we'll just see what comes out. If you guys find that you would like a private session with me, um, you can find that information on my website, which is IamEmilyGear.com. You can do reading, uh, Akashic Records sessions, um, energy healing, all the above whatever your record keepers guide me to do for you. Okay. So. Source. Please provide messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. All right, Pisces. You're starting out with the King of Swords and the six of pentacles so this is to me a really clear message of kind of um taking taking your power back in some situation or at the very least standing in your power um <clears throat> something's balancing out here i think that there have been situations where maybe you were over giving um it could be vice versa but just knowing pisces usually you are the one over giving and uh, it feels like you are kind of pulling back. Some of you might be going through situations where codependency is coming up and you may have been martyring yourself at the feet of you know, an individual that you have been seeking love from for a very long time and getting a mother for many of you. Um, but I think that it's not that you have taken the love away from this person, but I think you have seen more, um, more of the whole picture here, and you're like, all right, I need to step back. So that's really positive, because I feel like you have probably already done this. Some of you maybe have not, and if that's the case, then, then you may be in a situation where it's necessary for you to kind of balance out the interactions, balance out the amount that you are giving with what you are receiving from a person. Now, you cannot make another person give you their love, right? So it might simply be that you need to be the king of swords in this situation and rationally look at it and say, all right, I'm going to calculate, right, with the mental uh, faculties, what I am receiving here, and I am not going to give more than I'm receiving. And that can be heartbreaking. It can be a difficult situation when you recognize that somebody is not capable of being who you wanted them to be. Um, but therein lies the issue. You know, people are not who you want them to be. They are who they are. And we need to be in acceptance of that at every given moment and any time. Uh, but I do feel like this is a realization that you're, you have come to on your own and have hopefully, um, yeah, have hopefully already done. So we've got the hanged man, which Pisces loves to get, um, with the two of pentacles. And that to me is another message about balance and and retrieving yourself from a state of martyrdom, kind of, uh, where you have been putting in so much. I mean, this might not be a relationship. It feels like a relationship right now. This could absolutely be a business situation or a friendship. Maybe that has been toxic. But I feel like once you are able to gain control of the amount of output that you are giving, that a lot of these situations can be reined in so that they're not toxic any further. And it really goes to the point that I've been making through a lot of the videos now. I don't remember which ones anymore. I'm making so many these days. But um, that it's our mindset that determines whether something is positive or negative. I mean, we determine our experience of a situation by our mindset. And so I feel like in this case, you are changing your perspective by no longer kind of hanging out in that, uh, that, that energy of sacrifice, self-sacrifice to 
an individual or whatever. Um, you know, Pisces is kind of that price consciousness. It is kind of that self-sacrifice energy. And so I think this is a big message or a big lesson for a lot of you guys in this lifetime that sometimes you do need to put yourself first or at first or at the very least put the balance first so that um, that you are not killing yourself, you know, bit by bit, paper cut by paper cut. Um, I do feel like an influx of joy and balance, you know, I mean, we have two cards of balance here with the six of coins and the two of coins, but the two also feels a little bit like a, a more lighthearted energy that's coming in for you guys. And that is, that may be future energy sometime within this next two weeks. If you're not already feeling it, that's coming in for you. Um, that's how that feels. Because right now I feel like some of you might be like, Oh, won't that be the day, <laughs> you know? But I do feel like that's coming in for you if you're not already feeling that. Um, and that has to do with releasing much of this template of sacrifice and uh, self-sacrifice. And, you know, it's the misunderstanding that the Christ template is about sacrificing yourself, okay? There is value in self-sacrifice right but we always have to reevaluate what is coming back in for us uh when we do that it is not that everything needs to be an eye for an eye right that also is an old template that we are getting rid of but it's that um we can only work our magic on this you know on this earth plane or anywhere in existence if we have ourselves through which to do it. And so when the self is fully sacrificed, there is no more self. There is no more uh, vehicle in which to work our magic. And so I think that we are understanding that our contribution to the universe, to the collective or whatever, needs to be able to have this vehicle within which to work it, all right? And um, this light-hearted, more light-hearted energy is helping to preserve that vehicle and helping to move it forward. I'm just focused on the ship in the background here. All right, let's see what else wants to come in so we don't sit on that message too long. What else for Pisces, please, Source? What else for Pisces for the next two weeks? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, let's get a clarifier, please. This feels like really good energy. We've got the Ten of Cups here, which is awesome, awesome energy. It's clarified by, and you know I don't do reversals, but this one happened to come out in reverse, even though everything else is upright. King of Coins in reverse with the Devil. So um, this energy here is this Ten of Cups energy, and honestly, that feels to me so much like you are finally in, in good shape to be able to manifest this, this sort of dream the sort of um, ideal fulfillment, you're starting to feel a sense of, you're starting to feel a sense of emotional fulfillment in your life because you continue, you kept giving away your, um, your, your love, basically. You kept giving away your power, your love, everything, and, and that nothing was coming back in to fill the cup. So now you're understanding this balance that there has to be filling as well as, you know, the giving. There has to be receiving as well as the giving. And it's a change. It's a release of this ungrounded energy of this energy of being chained to a cycle in which you are consistently losing your value. You are consistently losing your assets and your asset being your own magic, your own love, your, you know, everything that you had to give, you're simply throwing it away 
in, um, and I don't want to, you know, say that whatever. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That was my timer. I'm trying to keep these to 10 minutes. Guess we're going to go over because I still feel like there's more to come out. Um, so the things that, okay, I also want to say that whatever you have invested in up to this point was an important thing for you to be able to come to this realization of needing to fill your own cup, okay? Um, and so I don't want you to think that you've made a mistake, wasted time, you have not, all right? You are receiving all of the experiences that you need to receive in order to um, become your, the highest version of yourself, the highest octave of yourself. So I think that you are also understanding that self-fulfillment comes through a different channel now and you are already doing that work so so good job good job on that um and i do want to say that this energy of attachment this energy of uh dumping out your resources your potential into other things or other people or simply squandering it um, is is remaining in the background for you a little bit, kind of like a reminder of, okay, I did not like that energy. I did not like how it that made me feel. It does not align with my highest potential, does not align with what I feel is my bliss. And therefore this, I'm going to remember this and not go there again. So it could be that you are, you know, kind of tempted in some senses to go back there at times, but well, I don't want you to hold on to this energy. You should release it for sure. There's always sort of the um, the memory of that so that you can remind yourself what you don't want, right? At some point in your evolution, there will be a time in which the timelines collapse and this will feel like, that old time will feel like um, a distant memory. It it will almost not be a memory of yours. It will feel like it's someone else's memory or experience. They're telling me this. So it feels to me like you are getting very close to a time where you're collapsing your timelines on top of each other and moving into the highest possible timeline, okay? Which is great because I remember for a long time the Pisces readings were all about needing to set boundaries and I think you've really figured that out. So let's get a final message here for Pisces. All right, so what you've got here is the tower in reverse with the three of pentacles, which is amazing because the tower is all about breaking down and the pentacles is all about building up the cathedral, right? Building up the tower, building up, you know, something, building something uh, for our highest and best good through the highest possible potential, the, the channel of the divine, right? In cooperation with others, this is all about the learning process of becoming who we are and becoming our highest and best good. You've got the, the tower in reverse. So I feel like this is having happened already. Maybe you have felt your world collapse down around you. You have made major changes. You have dismantled some of the, um, some of the templates that you were operating on that were faulty, that were false, that were not in your truth. And now you are in a position to begin building from your truth. So I feel like here is this, um, I don't know why I'm getting this feeling for this card. This is not normal for this card. But I do want to say there's a sense of needing to check in with yourself frequently about your own truth. To make sure that every brick you're laying in your, um, in your building now is in alignment with your truth. That is the number one most important thing I want you to remember for the next two weeks is being in alignment with your truth, therefore, um, and and being in, align in alignment with source creator, the divine, because you cannot go astray if that is your measuring stick, right? If you're measuring, if, you're, if your unit of measurement is your connection with source, there will be no going astray. And in truth, there is no going astray because Every experience you have helps to build upon the previous, you know, the cornerstone, the previous set of stones so that you can become who you are, all right? And this is the becoming. This is the becoming of who you are, all right? 
So um, next week we will get back in, or no, I'm sorry, yeah, next week, although you guys will have your reading in two weeks, we will be getting back to the extended read. So look forward to that. But for this week, um, thank you very much for being here. And I hope that this message has been helpful. And I hope that you guys have a couple great weeks ahead. I will talk to you soon, Pisces. Bye.